Hello guys, welcome to everything smartphone. While technology is changing day by day, it's like you blinked and technology made a sense. Apart from computer, mobile phone is a huge revolution in technology. It really made many impossible things a piece of cake. In mobile operating system, Android is ruling with its own pride today. Most of the mobile phones are currently running on Android OS. But Android wasn't this much popular from the beginning. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss about history of Android OS. So without further ado, let's get started. So back in 2000 era, there was a lot of mobile operating system in the market. But all of this was complicated to operate and a bit slow. So in 2003, four software engineers decided to create something for mobile which will be more user-friendly and faster than before. Rhys Miner, Nick Sher, Chris White and Andy Rubin was that four engineer who founded Android INC in October 2003 to create something new. So in 2005, Google bought the whole Android company and made Andy Rubin head of this department. At that time, Google was silent about Android until 2007. So Google published their first Android version as beta in 2007. But in September 2008, Google officially released commercial Android phone which is known as HTC Dream. In that time, it has all necessary Google apps included, such as Gmail, Google Map, Google Contact, etc. After that, in April 2009, we got Android 1.5 Cupcake. So in Android Cupcake version, there are a bunch of new features comes out, like auto-rated option, ability to upload video on YouTube, support third-party keyboard, etc. In September 2019, we got Android 1.6 Donut. Some of the interesting features comes out with this new version of Android like GSM2 CDMA network, quick search box, built-in gallery and power control widget. In October of the same year, we got Android 2.0 Eclair version which comes with text-to-speech, multiple account supports, live wallpaper and Google map navigation system. And the first phone which came with this Android version was Motorola Droid. And in 2010, we got very fast Nexus phone with new version of Android called Android 2.1. Also the first Samsung Galaxy S launched with the same version of Android. The same year, Android launched 2.3 gingerbread version and Nexus got an update. With this version of Android, there was some significant new features like NFC and multiple mobile carriers. In 2011, we got Android 3.0 Honeycomb which was not meant to be for mobile, it was for tablet devices. And the whole UI was compatible with big screens and some features could not be handled with small screens. And then come Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, which was combination of Android Gingerbread and Honeycomb. There was bunch of apps from Honeycomb which placed in this version for mobile. It has the on-screen navigation systems and for the very first time it has face unlock system. Then Google released Android 4.1 Jelly Bean in July 2012. I think this was the modern version of Android. After releasing 4.1 Jelly Bean, they quickly released two more versions of Android 4.2, 4.3 under the same Jelly Bean level. In this version of Android, main feature was full support for Google Chrome as mobile web browser. After that, Google announced Android 4.4 KitKat on September 2013 and launched on 31st October 2013 on Google Nexus 5 for the first time. UI was almost same as previous version of Android but the big news was it consumes less RAM. In 2014 of November there was a whole level of changes in Android. We got a new version of Android called Android 5.0 Lollipop which comes with Google's material design and brand new UI. It comes first with Nexus 6 smartphone and Nexus 9 tablet. One year later, Android 6.0 Marshmallow comes out with bunch of new features. It has the app drawer mode, navigation fingerprint reader, USB Type-C support, 4K display mode for apps and many more new features. And the very next year, Google released Android 7.0 Nougat on August. This was the major update from Android. In this version, Android comes with split screen features for multitasking. Also, they introduced Daydream VR platform on this version. And this Android version first comes with Google's own smartphone brand called Google Pixel and Google Pixel XL. In 2017, Google released Android 8.0 Oreo to the market. And there was not significant changes in this version except improvement in performance. And they quickly released Android 8.1 Oreo in December 2017. 
In this version first comes with Google Pixel 2 and Google Pixel 2 XL. In 2018, Google released Android 9 Pie, which comes with more user-friendly interface. Although the core UI still remains the same as previous version of Android with App Drawer, but the app icon got a roundy shape, and for the first time it comes with a screenshot editor. Also, it redesigned the volume slider and improved multitasking. It was good to have a stable night mode in this version of Android. And as usual, this version also comes first in Google Pixel 3 and Google Pixel 3 XL. And the last version of Android is Android 10. At my point of view, the biggest change was to move from desert name to number. Yes, the Android version does not have the desert name anymore like previous Android version. The stable version of Android 10 released in September 2019. OnePlus 70 was the first device which comes with pre-installed Android 10. It has same new exciting features like drug theme and fully compatible for 5G. Also, the smart reply for the all messaging apps and incognito mode for Google app is a pretty significant change. I have no idea what is gonna come next with newer version of Android, but I am pretty sure that it will amass me like previous version. With that being said, I have to end this video. So that was for today guys. If you enjoyed, then please consider to like, comment and share and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon for future updates. I'm your host Amit. See you in the next video.